the left hand original backwards is I want to go around the track again. My my horsey is is ready to to run a little faster. Try playing it for the first time. I'm so excited. Well, hi there and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Penny. And in this little video, I am taking another piece by Bach and playing it backwards. <laughs> and what you're going to see is the first hand performance of it and my reaction. I have not played this arrangement yet. I'm really excited and uh, the suspense has been mounting all day. Uh, we're looking at the Little Prelude number six in E minor. This is BWV 938, the one that goes like this. This one, right? Uh, I've played it uh, normally as written in the original fashion uh, quite a while back and then more recently in a couple of shorts videos I was fooling around with this you know meddling with it as I like to do get my grubby hands on the music and see see how it sounds when I tinker with the engine a little bit I, I have a lot of fun doing this and uh, maybe you've seen those shorts in one of them I swung the piece <laughs> that. And then in another ver uh, shorts video, I changed the meters. I alternated between the original meter of 3-8 and 2-4, which gave us something like this. Right, this shifting of the beat uh, was was quite tickling to the ears, I found. And so I was having a lot of fun with the piece, and I thought to myself, what would it sound like if I played it backwards? Now, there have been a few times where I've done this with box music uh, in a video, uh, the C minor little prelude. Uh, that, that one turned out uh, quite well. I was pleased with that. And I fiddled around with one of the inventions as well, backwards. And so... I thought it would be quite uh, perhaps amusing, or maybe it'll be a letdown, we'll see. Uh, but for you to uh, get in on my uh, experience of trying it out. So yesterday, I uh, was at the computer. I have the uh, Muse score, it was my music notation software. And I typed in uh, this sheet music backwards. <laughs> so the piece is, what, 48 bars long? I didn't take the first ending. I just used the second ending. I left out the ornaments and, uh, yeah, just went backwards um, from measure 48 to measure 1. And uh, I'm going to show you the sheet music uh, first before I <laughs> try playing it for the first time. I'm so excited. It's it's like sampling some sort of new recipe or, you know, maybe your favorite pizza and you go to the store and, and the brand has come up with a new flavor and you're like, oh, I have to try that, right? This is how I am with this. I really am excited. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you on the screen the sheet music. And I, I should say, though, um, you know, it's very tedious as you can imagine, typing this out, it took me, I don't know, two hours. And then I realized in the middle of the night that there was a mistake. <laughs> and I, and so today I, I spent another hour and a bit uh, fixing that. Um, when you see the sheet music of the backwards version, you'll say, wait, that does not look like the original, literally note for note. And you are correct. <laughs> um, but what I had to do in places where the uh, where one hand has an eighth note and the other has a six has sixteenth notes, um, it, it, which is through much of the piece, uh, writing it backwards literally as the original meant that the same intervals between the notes would not be preserved, and I wanted to preserve that because Bach was so careful with. Uh, you know, placement of consonant intervals, um, fifths, uh, thirds, sixths, uh, versus the dissonant intervals, seconds and sevenths, this kind of thing. So I, uh, I just 
simply made a slight little change, used my artistic license, and uh, just added a bunch of 16th rests so that the eighth notes could be 16th notes, and that way they would be perfectly in line, uh, sounding against the note in the other hand as in the original. I felt that that was more important. There was some tied notes, too, where that got a little bit messy. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh. So uh, let's let's get into this. You, you've got the original in your ear, and uh, I have not, I just printed it out, and I have no idea what this will sound like. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to have to go slow. I'm sight reading this. Um, when I'm learning to, to uh, when I'm preparing to perform one of these concoctions from my piano laboratory, you know, it takes me a few days to, to get it uh, into my hands um, and, and polished. So this is not going to be a polished performance. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're just going to get in there, see how it sounds, and, and I'm going to hopefully have a good reaction for you. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the beginning, which is the end. <laughs> I'm just going to move this a little bit. Okay, here we go. We're not changing meters. We're just staying in 3-8 here. 3-8 time. One. I'm going to go slowly. One, two, three. sound like it's somehow standing on its on its head upside down the the first bar backwards and the original backwards ah! <laughs> I want to go around the track again my my horsey is is ready to to run a little faster <laughs> ah um yeah let me try it one more time my god this is whoo i'm getting excited here this is crazy um and yet you can still recognize the original eh? like uh <laughs> what is it 
Oh, I have to count the measures backwards. And measure 32, That that's kind of funny there, where the uh, in the original, the left hand des d descending scale, but in the, in the backwards, it's ascending. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Oh, I like this. I'm going to have to practice this and learn it and play it. Um, the arid, there's some sequences. I think that's where it's most noticeable. Um, uh, the places to like uh, that spot in the in the original that sequence at measure five to measure eight. <laughs> uh, in the backwards, that would be measure eight to five, uh, eleven, ten, nine, eight over here. I love it, right? If I just take one hand, uh, the left hand, original, measure five to eight. Backwards is. You can you can appreciate the patterns even more because they 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 work. It's just one's going one way and then it's the opposite opposite direction, but they work. Ah. Oh. This is fun. Uh, is another sequence here, measure 33 uh, to 38, the original. <laughs> okay, so let's hear it backwards. 38 to 33. Oh, here we go. I got to think. Whew. To practice this. Oh, this is fun stuff. I love that spot. That's the backwards from uh, 38. And uh, yeah, it's just so much fun. Oh my gosh. 32 to 38 of the original. <laughs> 32 to 38. Now backwards. forwards <laughs> oh yeah
you really got to think, though. Jeez, um, I'm going to have to play it. I'm going to have to practice it and get it in my hands. This spot around measure 20 is giving me some grief. This spot here, 18, seven, measure 16 to, I don't know, um, back to 11 or so. Uh, And then forwards, that's 12 to 16, 12 to 16, <laughs> 10, 11, 12. <laughs> ah, Mr. B, hiding in the trees there. That, that Specifically, that's 13 to 16 of the original. 13 to 16, and then backwards, 16 to 13. I don't know. It's uh, it, The backwards in that section is a little bit more intense because it's ascending. Um, and you, you can really hear the, the disjunct uh, left hand. Try it again, backwards from 16. just speed up this practice footage here a little bit and here's a rough performance of course we'll get a more polished one up on the channel shortly but this gives you an idea it I love it and I can you tell <laughs> yeah whoo takes a lot of concentration I think I'm going to spend a few days practicing this one so I can get it up to speed really fast and then maybe I can fit it in uh, as another bonus video there so uh yeah I hope you enjoyed <laughs> seeing my reaction. Uh, you know, I, I, I do get awfully excited about this music. And um, I think it's important to share that just as much so as the performances themselves and, and the practice tips themselves, too. I don't have any tips for you in this particular one. This is a different kind of a video. But, you know, to, sh to share the passion... I'm on that train <laughs> permanently. It's a permanent ride for me. I have a one-way ticket to hopefully to Magic Musicville there. And uh, so <laughs> maybe you'll try this out in your practice room. Give it a whirl. Uh, it does help me to appreciate the construction of Bach's music when I take it apart like this. 
and uh, folks seem to be curious as to what it sounds like. I, mean, I don't think I'm alone in this department. <laughs> so uh, thanks, for, thanks for your interest and uh, for, for watching this video. Stay tuned. I'll, I'm going to get a performance of it uh, learned and ready in the near future. And uh, I do want to say a special thank you to all the new subscribers as well uh, to the old subscribers <laughs> and for your generous comments uh, and likes. Um, I, I read every one of them and I, I greatly appreciate them. So thank you very, very much. And without further ado, I will wrap this up. <laughs> I wish you happy practicing. Stay well, stay safe. And we'll see you again soon for more performances of Bach's music and practice tips. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.